if I can maybe step back and divide the topic into two. So there's the angle from the business traveler where it's a prevalent topic. Who owns the data? Is it the company? Is it the traveler? Is it the travel management company? Is it the supplier? On the leisure side, it's less of a conversation. It's more spread out. Travelers seem to be looking for better answers and any way that they can have their data leveraged to provide a better answer to the query makes it a more, more rich experience. So I think if you, if you look at those, those two forks, the debate will continue on who owns the traveler data, particularly focused on the business sector. And I think there's no clear answer uh, just yet. Some had raised blockchain to solve that problem. I think it's a sea change within the industry of how that technology will impact the answer to that question, but I think it'll be a topic for some time. Well, innovation and hospitality is interesting. So from the guest experience application, there was a sort of a wave of trend of, uh, you know, how can we engage the digital traveler? A lot of the uh, hoteliers found that it was uh, difficult to support the level of expectation. I think the next wave of innovation is going to come around unbundling. So airlines have led the way of how to unbundle services and allow for a different method of shopping. It's maybe not revolutionary, but I expect that Hotels have a much more rich um, uh, offering that won't come as just buying a room. I believe that asset-based shopping represents the future of how that product will be shopped and the amenities that you get in your room and the experience that you have at your hotel is something that you can look at as a merchandising opportunities for hotels and for you as a traveler, you look at an opportunity to get the room with the services that you want that are tailored to you.